you talk, you talk about the issues that matter. Now, here's what I think really matters. People, the cost of living crisis, the fuel crisis, whatever at the moment, tough, tough, tough. But folks, you ain't seen nothing yet. Because Claire, when we go into the autumn, what is the, the big fear here as regards uh, President Putin? Well, I mean, we're, we're looking here at the story about Europeans urge to turn the lights off amid fears Putin will cut the, off the gas. There's a real problem within the, within the European countries, within the EU, and Ursula von der Leyen has actually said to lots of European countries, you are going to have to reduce your use of energy. And so we all know we're facing an energy crisis. Because Putin is threatening to turn the gas off and because the EU countries are dependent on uh, Russian gas, they're actually not going to just not be able to afford <laughs> to turn the lights on. There won't be enough energy to turn the lights yeah. on. And so they've been told now to save back, cut back. I think it, the important thing here is two things. You've just made the point, what's the important thing about President Putin? We haven't heard much on the Ukraine war, but things are really... Uh, ratcheting up. And in fact, uh, part of this story on the front page of the Telegraph is to explain that Lavrov one of the, uh, from Russia is it said, we're not going to confine ourselves to the Donbass and the eastern region. We're going for the whole of Ukraine. This war isn't going to end anytime soon. The consequence of... And the second big issue is energy security. Are we going to be in a situation where we're dependent on uh, energy from outside different countries? So that's going to lead to some tensions within Europe, within nation states. I think in terms of the UK, it also means that we have to consider whether our dismissal of fossil fuels because of net zero targets mm -hmm. is the right thing to do. Well, well Claire, I'm interested Claire. in you saying that, and, uh, you know, a lot of people say fracking's the answer. Could you be persuaded? I'd be enthusiastic. Liz Truss You'd be enthusiastic. I'm, I'm enthusiastic about fracking. Where are you on this? Well, I, I just sometimes worry that, um, you know, good folks like Claire are, are more worried about uh, so-called woke and trans issues than the future of the planet that we live on. And uh, I note that um, Liz Truss, is one of her planks of policy is to uh, go for green levies. They're not there. Green levies are not there to mess about and just cause people pain for the sake of it. They're trying to deal with with, the, with a heating uh, a heating and warming planet. I think what we all would agree on, uh, which this piece talks about, is that Europe was too dependent on Russia uh, Russia gas supplies, forty percent in twenty twenty one, and that for our country, fortunately, we're not in that position, which I think we can all agree about. But, but you know, these are these this this the, the planet's in real danger. It is. It is, Kevin. Absolutely no doubt about it. We're not going to make a darn bit of difference to that if America doesn't have the same policy, if India doesn't have the same policy, if Russia doesn't have the same policy. And that's my concern. I said it last week. We are a pimple on the backside of this planet. That's a nice image. But, yeah, I, but, but it's on, true. On whole, it's true. Yeah. What darn bit of difference does it make? We've got, you know, 66 million people in a tiny island. Mm. What darn bit of difference but, will it make? 